Welcome back. So in the last video, we created the car body, the wheel cutouts, and we cut the front off for our nose cone. Now we need to start putting some axle holes in, canister housing, and our wings. All right, so for our axle holes, I'm gonna start a sketch. I'm gonna click on this inside face of the car body again. Now I wanna spin the body around so I'm looking at it, because it's gonna make it a little bit easier this time. I want to put a circle in and just going to pick a, a random spot there. The circle needs to be six millimeters diameter. I want to do one in the back as well. So there, six millimeters for the back wheel. Okay, let's get some dimensions. So again, using my D key, I want to go from the bottom of the car to the center. Oops, sorry. I want to go from the bottom of the car to the center of the wheel axle hole. And we're going to make this 12 millimeters. We're going to do the same for the back one. Center of the wheel to the bottom of the car, 12 millimeters. And we want to go from the front edge of what would be our side pod to the center of that axle hole. We need to make 32 millimeters. Now that's going to make sure that we've got our 15 millimeter gap plus our 17 give or take 17 millimeters for the radius of the car tire. Um, the back wheel, click on there, come to the back, and this dimension is going to be 20 millimeters. So it'll put it just straight in the middle of that little cutout. All right, once we've got that done, we're going to finish our sketch, come back to our isometric view. We're going to do an extrusion. We're removing, and I want to select the hole, in the back one click ok and now if we look through we've got a couple of holes in the side of our car again in the features rename this and that's going to be called axle holes right next major feature we want the canister housing to be put in so sketch now i'm going to click on my right hand plane here because my right hand plane should cut through or be right beside where the middle of my car is going to be so Doing a sketch here, I'm going to put a line above my car and I'm going to come in 52 millimeters, which is the depth of the canister housing. Um, now we need to dimension this first. So again, using my D key from that line to the bottom of the car, I know that the center of the canister hole to the bottom of the balsa block is 29 millimeters. If you remember from our balsa block tutorial. Okay. So I've got a dimension there, that's locked in place. Now I can give it a bit of shape. I'm gonna bring a line up. Now I want this line to be 13 millimeters high. I'm gonna come down till it's in line with this 52 millimeters. There we go. I'm gonna put a bit of a nose cone on the front and come back. Now, you're gonna say, but that's not a canister housing. This is, we're going to do what's called a revolved extrusion. So we're doing a cross section of a circular um, object. Now I'll show you this. So I'm going to come up here, going to hit revolve. This is the region I want to resolve. And I need to tell the program which axis or what I want this revolution to center around. Let me click on that first line we drew. Now, just got to make sure we're only doing half. So I click on one direction. The angle is going to be 180 degrees and we want it to come on the same side we're sketching. So now we have half of a canister. Again, come over, rename it, canister housing. One more feature to put on this car and that's the wings. So I want to do a sketch. Now, I'm going to have the wings come all the way out to the side of my car. So I'm going to click on the side face of the side pod to create my sketch. Come around to the right hand side. Now, I want the wings to line up with the top of the canister housing and the bottom of the car. To do that, I need the program to recognize these edges. Because if we have a look here, there's where I'm sketching. But this edge is actually behind the sketch plane. Now, for that, we're going to use this Use or Project feature. And I'm going to select the nose cone and the canister housing. Now you can see they've got this black line around it. The program's going to recognize that as part of the sketch. 
use my rectangle tool click on the bottom corner come up and I want to make this uh, 17 millimeters long and four millimeters high now this is a bit of an issue because it constrained itself so I'm going to come here I'm going to escape the oh, wait a sec need to get rid of that constraint there we go so now I've got that line four millimeters ignore that that's fine come to the back corner sketch and again I'm going to go 17 millimeters and 4 millimeters. Hit OK. Come around. Extrude them. Selecting the front wing profile, the rear wing profile. Now they're going the wrong way, so I'm going to turn that around to opposite direction. But to make sure it doesn't go too far, instead of setting a distance, I'm going to change this to go up to next. So it's going to extrude it until it hits the next feature. In this case, the canister housing and the front of the car, and that looks fantastic. So now we've got half the car finished, almost. Um, I'm just going to hide these uh, axi planes. I'm going to rename this as uh, wings. And I want to do just a little bit of tidying up on my sketch. Now, when we machine, we're using a 6mm ball nose cutter, uh, which means it's got a radius on the end. I need to add a 3mm radius to all of the internal features where that cutter wouldn't go into. So I'm going to select Fillet, I'm going to change my radius to 3mm and select anywhere that's an internal corner. So there's one there, one at the back of the wing, uh, might as well do this part here while I'm there. Um, spin it around, that's an internal corner, there's one here, one there. And there's one more up underneath the wing. I just want to get in there. So these are all the internal fillets, almost all of them. There is one other, and I do have to do this in a particular um, reason, which I won't worry about now. But again, three millimeter radius, and I've got to do around the bottom of the canister housing. So let's rename these. So I'm going to rename this three millimeter internal fillet. So I'm just going to call it int fillet and this one here three millimeter canister fillet there we go so that's ready for machining I want to make it look a little bit nice and so I'm going to put a small fillet around all the outside areas I'm going to change this to 1.5 and pretty much anywhere on the outside of the car I'm just going to put a fillet on there and this is really just to make it look nice it doesn't really change anything um, and it's having issues now I need to get is one of these it's not liking there we go that's the one um, you'll notice if it doesn't like it all of a sudden all of the fillets will disappear um, right there and in here um, now I've got to be careful there, no, that's not going to work. If I have to come back and select all of them, spin the car around, see if we've got everything from the back. No, I've missed some here, so we'll come back in at them, Let's put one down the bottom edge, and oh, I'll smooth that one out. Have a look underneath. Yep, that looks fantastic. So finish that. Um, spin the car back around again. I want to rename this, so rename this is a 1.5 millimeter external fillet that's on all the external corners. And we have one more thing to do we need to mirror the car to well, make it a whole car. So let's bring our right work plane back for now. I'm going to select the mirror function, we're going to mirror the entire body. The mirror plane, we're going to use our right workspace click OK and now let's hide that we have a car body so there's a very very simple cadet car fully compliant with the regulations as so long as you get your manufacturing right um, but a great basis just to learn how to do the simple functions 
and naming features uh, is very important within Onshape. All right, guys, good luck creating that, and I'll catch you in the next video.